what is Boglitch exactly? Boglitch was a series, an entire extremely massive category of glitches that was discovered and kind of kept secret for a little bit to avoid the collapse of the game. Um, where you basically do, I'm pretty bad at explaining this, but like, it's like stance swap glitches. Like imagine the chainsaw glitch, like that category of swaps. You, you were able to do that by using a bow in your offhand. And so you could do things like swap, you know, the Gale's great bow or Gale's um, ex a crossbow weapon art where you, you shoot a bunch of bolts at once. You could swap that onto the Millwood great bow and shoot like fucking 20 fully automatic uh, Dragon Slayer great arrows at someone and insta kill literally everything in the game. Or like you could, the Sacred Flame one shot glitch was back where you would Sacred Flame one shot and it would calculate each tick of damage with your uh weapons ar in your other hand so you would like literally kill someone 15 times over and it was frame one you could also do something where like lightning arrow is a holdable spell that is frame one so you could swap other spells onto that so basically you could hold wrath of the gods or the sacred flame one shot so that as soon as you roll at someone it comes out literally frame one like it was just an endlessly applicable game destroying glitch a million different anything you wanted to do you could swap the fire whip spell onto the flame surge spell and that would have a massively huge hitbox that would do like 900 damage a tick like the possibilities were endless you could swap the chaos bed vestige onto the Farron dart animation and just machine gun cbvs at people you could do literally anything with it like your imagine like the imagination was endless you could frame one soothing sunlight you know like shit like that imagine Erd tree blessing but frame one like you can't stop people from healing to full HP. It was insane. So basically this glitch was on wraps and then some people made videos about explaining how to use it and it came to light and everyone's like, wow, this is going to destroy the game. And then yeah, Revan made this fucking video where it's like, I'm the fucking, I'm going to tell the peasants how to like use bow glitch because you guys know because all the people who actually like this game the tryhards just want the glitch for themselves they use it all the time and they just want to do it to beat peasants like you and was like bro it's actually balanced frame one wog in duels is actually kind of balanced and we're like that is the most dumb shit i've ever heard in my life everyone's like you're so stupid and then the next day fucking he's he's on grim's stream giving grim shit for using sacred flame one shot he's like it was balanced until you guys ruined it with by finding more glitches like sacred flame one shot like a no it was never balanced b like this is literally less than 24 hours after your video you dumb fuck like how stupid can you be so you're watching the grim sleeper do sacred flame one shots for 20 straight hours and he invades saris victoria and I don't even remember Morgan and I don't remember who the fuck it was. Maybe giant one. It was like three guys or three people doing fucking uh, machine bow ganking. So they would hide in a room in Pontiff lo locked and loaded with the fully automatic mill with great bow. And it's, it's so like you'd have Grim jump in there rolling for his life, trying to grab one of them with sacred flame one shot. And they're just fucking sitting in the corners, machining him to death. And he would eventually just get roll caught and just fucking get obliterated in the blink of a fucking eye. And it was the stupidest shit ever. And after a while, in less than a week, Grim was invading in Pontiff and he was hosting in Pontiff and there was nobody. It was meta at Pontiff and there was not a single fucking person in the world on PC playing Pontiff meta in that week. After five days of Boglitch, literally no one was playing it was nuts it was a ghost town so like it was just big but like it's still in the game people still play the game 
There was other glitches too. Like people like learned how to glitch into the wall in Pontiff and they could infinitely soothing sunlight people. Like, and with bow glitch, you could like infinite Estus refill. You would have infinite Estus and infinite FP, like endless, endless possibilities with a glitch, not even a cheat engine thing, which is like, what's the difference anyway? Bow glitch was like uh, dark times. They call it tech. It depends, right? Like I came, I came into DS3 hot off of Smash Brothers Melee. I used to spend three hours every day in Melee grinding tech like Super Wave Dash, anything. Like I played a lot of Luigi and Samus. So, you know, so it depends. I like that high skill ceiling, but at the same time, it's like, oh, you can't punish people when their S is glitching and like even the most brain dead idiot can S is glitch. Like if you want a, an example, just look at my YouTube and just the video where it's like why I avoided Dark Souls 3 duels like the plague. That video will explain everything you have to know about like how I feel about people that are so dog shit they don't even understand the fundamentals of the game. Yet the Souls games are the ultimate power fantasy in that you can power stack with glitches in the game even not not even using glitches like if you're just a four-man ganker with spears like you're unkillable like anything like a murky ganking like you can do so many things to make yourself unkillable and just stack it as high as you need it to be to the point that you're unkillable right in a pvp setting a multiplayer setting and but you're like fighting people that are like ah if i learn how to estus refill and estus cancel then i'll be good instead of like actually getting better at the game or like learning how to space or like do any basic functionality you know it's kind of insane and like i'm fighting a dude who's laggy as fuck he's like some brazilian guy with a claymore he's got laggy poise and he knows how to s's cancel so i just can't kill him it's like i literally have to put in the 25 dog shit minutes of chipping away at his entire 15 flasks of estus on my level 60 luck build like the worst fucking build in the game. But that's the thing when it comes to the tech and what's good and healthy for the game and what's not. That was like the hottest debate for like three straight years in Dark Souls 3 is like, you know, what's acceptable and what's not, what's polite and what's not. Is it an arms race? Is it like a fucking, um, you know, uh, like a, what do you call that situation? What's that movie called with Samuel L. Jackson and Tom Cruise? Where he's like, waste the motherfuckers. You know, the rules of engagement. Is it like a rules of engagement situation where you can't SS cancel until they SS cancel on you first? Like, same thing where it's like, do I not heal? Because it's a duel until they heal, then it's okay to heal? Like, what is this weird artificial etiquette that we have, right? You have fucking idiots, like that gray ages cunt, who is like, literally banning blocking people by banning their ip address in powershell but that's not a glitch because powershell is intended but cheat engine's not intended be and blocking people with cheat engine because that has the word cheat in it and so if you would spend an hour in his world looking for him and realize that he's hiding in Ponte because he's a fucking asshole and you would say okay fuck him i'm gonna turn on my free cam script and see where he is oh look he's hiding in the skybox in Pontiff using hacks he's at the he's hiding where i can't reach him i'm gonna go curse knife his boss what an asshole and then he would block you and add you to his personal public block list and give you and try and shame you for being a hacker even though you spent 45 minutes in his world and then you used a hack to find him because he was using hacks to hide from you to catch hackers that guy is a fucking dipshit and the funniest part was he spent years doing shit like that and then he tried to hand a ban list which was essentially every player in the world like if you blossom canceled you were on his like fucking ban list and he tried to hand that to luke yui and the blue sentinels guys and they told him to go fuck himself which is amazing they're like you're a fucking idiot <laughs> why would you waste your time you jackass like you're cringe so like you have guys that are that insane where it's like what is the line between a glitch and what is not like to the point where like blocking like literally lag switching is okay like literally building a physical real world lag switch is okay because that's not tampering with the game script but as soon as you like i don't know if you uh reset the level if you use the tier script if you use the tier script to run a fight club you are a cheater and you should be permabanned 
but you are using the tier script to run a fight club. Like that level of fucking mental insanity. It's, it's, it, this is literally a thing that we have talked about for years. Everyone has their own personal comfort zone of like what, a, what glitches are balanced or not. And that's not even glitches, like literal physical in-game mechanics. Like, should it be okay for four guys to hide in a dead world and murky gank? Even though that's perfectly within the bounds of the game to do that. Like I've had guys fucking dead world gank, central Irithel, with five guys they would have four guys and they would summon a buddy as a um, as a mad phantom a purple and they would sit there jacking off all day ganking one guy 5v1 taking up the other co-invader slot that's t perfectly allowed by the game but is that an okay thing to do no that's a fucking asshole thing to do so it's like such a weird gray area like you have to understand like People have been arguing about this shit for literal years of like, what is okay and what isn't. Like, our, and like something like that, Estus Cancel might help you win as a one versus five invader with literally nothing else to help you in a dead world where you're getting run down like a dog. But, oh, as soon as you Estus Cancel fighting five guys at once with no team damage, you instantly get blue Sentinels kicked because it detected a cheat. And then they message you and they, they goad about how you're a pathetic hacker who can't beat them and you're no skill. <laughs> Not even in, like if you blossom cancel for the endurance regeneration, instantly fucking they get the notification, boom, they hit the function key. You're getting force kicked by third party software and you're the hacker. Like that is the level of insanity of like DS3 glitch meta discussion, right? It is and that's just scratching the surface like there is so much shit like is hard swapping is that a glitch is it cheating to hard swap or is it just optimal like these are the things you got to ask yourself right there is no game balance the beauty of like the pvp is how unbalanced and unhinged it is so it's really up to the community to decide and we can't decide because we're dysfunctional so it's like like everyone plays these games for totally different reasons. We can all sit here and love Eldering or a Souls game, but oftentimes we all love these games for completely opposite reasons, right? That's kind of the beauty of these games.